A new study sees tough times ahead for baby boomers who are reaching retirement age. But will they be able to retire on their own terms? <laughs> I don't know, but personal finance specialist Skip Cowan will address that question and look at five expenses that might throw a monkey wrench into the best laid retirement plans. Good morning, Skip. Good morning, Nikki. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm hanging in there with daylight saving yeah. time. You know, it's... Kind it's, of a jet lag thing for me. It is, right? We were just <laughs> discussing that. So this morning, give yourself a little extra time to wake up because it's a little tough. Now, we got to wake up the baby boomers with some information. Let's first define what a baby boomer actually is. Old. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. no. Baby boomers actually run from about 1945 to 1962. If you're born within that range, you're considered part of the baby boom generation. Yes, and it's, uh, there are a lot of them. There are. A yeah. lot of them, because that was during a time where a lot of babies were made. I happen to be one of those folks. Yes, you do. Yeah, I, I was born <laughs> and you're in not old. I was born in 1960. See, and you're, you're not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's cute, right? I love, I love Skip. Well, you got to make something up. you got to make it a little light because it's a heavy subject. I mean, yeah. the thing is, a recent survey actually found that almost 55% of Americans reaching retirement age within the next five years have little or no savings set aside, which is really tough. I mean, would you blame that on poor planning or are we all just kind of victims of the struggling economy? Well, it's a combination of both, I think. But, okay. but the majority of it really is poor planning. Mm. A lot of people kind of are betting on the come, so to speak. Yes, they are. Forty percent of the people in this survey, this is amazing, Okay. are actually planning to win the lottery. No. No, not. no, they really are. Like for they, real planning? They, yeah, yes. Oh, that's, gosh. That's part of their plan. I'm going to win the lottery and, and things are going to be okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I, 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 buy a ticket. <laughs> Maybe so, but... Oh, no. I think that you got to look at it and realize that really nothing substitutes for a good plan. Absolutely. Now, the answer is how do you do that? That's exactly it. I mean, how can we rebound from, I mean, there's so many stock market losses, so many things right now. Let's begin with that. How do we rebound from that? Well, if you take a look at what happened in the stock market, mm -hmm. and let me say, I want to get this date exactly correct. Okay. I wrote it down here. In October 2007, uh -huh. the stock market hit an interday high of 14250 approximately. Okay. Right? By March of 2009, uh -huh. the market was actually 6433 Really? That is a drop of better than 7,800 points. Wow. So you wonder if you got murdered, right? Yeah. You can't imagine the number of people that I personally know uh -huh. that at about that time went into all cash. Oh, my god! What they did at that point was lock in their losses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? It's not easy. I don't think so. <laughs> no. I don't think so. So a couple things you got to keep in mind about stock market. Okay. Uh, and I see it from a standpoint that, that Tom Crow talks about all the time. Yes. And that being that... Uh, Buy and hold uh -huh. is dead. Mm -hmm. If you buy something, forget about it. You're going to look at it later and think, oh my gosh, what did why I did do? I? What yeah, happened? Exactly. So you got to manage your portfolio good a little point. bit better. Very good point. And keep in mind something else called dollar cost averaging. What does that mean? It means that if you buy a certain, uh, if you have a fixed amount of money that you're putting aside every month, uh -huh. regardless of what happens to the market, you end up with an average price that is generally lower than it would be if you were doing something a little different by buying individual stocks, et cetera. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And when the market recovers, like it has, yeah. I mean, we're back to it has. almost 13,000. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. So if you had, had you been systematically investing, you'd be out of the game at this point. Good point, really good point. Tough call. Well, another issue is the fact that the economy has forced a lot of young Americans to just move back home. I mean, that's a big thing. A lot of people can't live on their own. So how has this impacted a lot of the parents' retirement plans? Because, look, I moved in with my grandmother at one point. We've all, and a lot of us have done that, and it it sucks out a lot of money from, from our families. Well, it does, and, and uh, both my kids have come home. <laughs> Luckily, they're not home anymore. They're both right. married again. But, you know, it, 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 it's, it's difficult. And yeah. when you look at the number of multi-generational homes that, that, that exist today versus mm -hmm. what existed about five years ago, yes. it's up almost 40%. Up 40, wow. Yeah, so, uh, so you're looking at a trend, really. Mm -hmm. And the economy is tough. So one of the things that you need to keep in mind here, perhaps, is tough love. Yeah. I mean, you've got to say to your kids, look. You know, I, I, your mom and I can't afford to continue with this. We, it's killing us because we're, right. we're dipping into our own retirement. Exactly. D d even though, yeah, sometimes it's tough. It is tough. And a lot of, another issue you mentioned, a lot of divorces. I mean, a lot of people divorcing, and the couples need to keep some things in mind when they're dividing those assets. What are some of those things? Well, 
you know, it, it's never tough to split the sheets. I mean, it, I mean it's always tough to it split is the sheets. It is tough, but, yeah. But, and, and it's always tough to split assets as well. Exactly. Um, wh one of the things you, th you should think about here is that if you've decided to get a divorce, which is unfortunate, yes. but you've decided to do that, yes. don't fight it out with the lawyers. The lawyers will cost you They'll thousands take all of the bucks. Money. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me my guy charges $10,000 an hour. I don't Gosh. know. He must, because I talked to him in five minutes. It's 500 bucks. Oh, my you know? God. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it so, is. So you really don't want to put yourself in that situation where you're spending an awful lot of money on mm -hmm. the attorneys. Okay. Work it out first. Well, what impact can lifestyle changes in general have on assets? That's a huge deal. It is, right? You retire and you say, you know, my wife and I are going to travel. Mm -hmm. Travel's not cheap. No, it's not. I, I looked at airfares the other day. They're up like 30 40%, and they're, yes. they're supposed to stay there. I, right? Yeah, I'm in the same boat looking and at And when you look crazy. at the price of gasoline, oh my gosh. you know, yeah. or if you take on a hobby that's a little bit expensive. So, again, that comes back to your plan, right? Make some realistic Make plans. Make some realistic plans mm -hmm. of what you're going to do in okay. those golden years, in that retirement, and don't blow your nest egg. Yeah, and I want to mention also that our viewers can get their questions personally answered at the Financial Education Summit. Can you tell us real quickly about that? Yes, that's an exciting event, okay. and, and uh, we'll be talking about that from uh, from time to time. But it's okay. going to be uh, April 16th okay. at the Sheraton, uh, well, I call it the Sheraton Old Town. So have, it's the uh, Hotel Albuquerque <laughs> Yes, it now, is right? indeed. They changed the name on me. <laughs> and, uh, it's free. Okay. Uh, the only oh, thing you have great. to do is is register. Okay. And if you register early, you get a free lunch. I love that you're not charging people to eat or learn more about how to save their money. There's, that makes perfect well, sense. Oh, there's going to be 30 or 40 workshops with every possible thing that I you could go. you could talk about in terms of a personal finance. Good stuff. So great. I think I need to work on getting on on those tickets for sure. Thank you so much, Skip. Ah, uh, great, great pleasure as always. Great advice as always. And still ahead on New Mexico style, I talk to America's yeah, next top model nice. photograph. The photograph? Photographer. Thank you very much. Good morning, Daylight Savings. Nigel Barker about recharging the spirit. We'll be right back.